I'm Dr. Pablo Cañete and I do not have conflict of interest to do this presentation. This is the case of a 28 years old man, professional judoka, with a very big loss of motion of his right elbow because of uh, degenerative osteoarthritis because of his sports activity during many years. This is a pre-op examination of the passive and active motion. We made an arthrolysis, an arthroscopic arthrolysis of his elbow to improve his function. First, we put the scope in the anterior medial portal and from the anterior lateral portal, we try to extract all the lost bodies in the anterior part of the elbow. Then we use this uh, hook radiofrequency ablation probe to make a capsulotomy, an anterior capsulotomy. I think this is a very useful device because you can control very well the tip of the resection of the anterior capsule until you arrive to the muscle fibers of the brachial muscle. Then we restate the osteophytes of the olecranon and the olecranon fossa. It's very important in these cases to do a 3D pre-op CT scan to study where are the osteophytes that we are going to resect during the surgery. We put the scope now in the anterior lateral portal and we use the bar from the anterior medial portal to resect all the osteophytes of the coronoid and the coronoid fossa. You can see the fibers of the muscle, the brachial muscle after the capsulectomy. Then we go to the posterior chamber of the elbow and we use the transdiscipital portal and we use the posterior lateral portal to extract all the loose bodies that are in the posterior part of the elbow also. We made an accessory transtricipital portal more proximal and also a soft spot portal. According to the part of the olecranon that we are going to resect, we will put the scope in the transtricipital portal and our bar in the posterior lateral portal or we will put the scope in the posterior lateral portal and the bar in the soft spot or in the transtricipital portal. It's very important that during the surgery, we are checking how we are gaining mobility of the elbow. We have to flex and we have to extend the elbow. This intraoperative mobility test is together with the preoperative CT scan, which will indicate us how much bone, how much osteophytes we have to reset. Extending the elbow and checking if we need to reset more osteophytes that are preventing full extension of the elbow. In this case, we find more osteophytes and loose bodies in the posterior chamber of the elbow. We have the scope now in the transtricipital portal and we have the bar from the posterior lateral portal and we resect all the osteophytes of the posterolateral olecranon and olecranon fossa. Now we are resecting the osteophytes of the posterior medial part of the olecano. We check again the mobility. These are the loose bodies that we extract during the surgery, and these are the post op X ray and the post op CT scan. We can check that we have removed a lot of bone, a lot of osteophytes of the olecano fossa and also of the coronoid fossa, and the patient has improved a lot his elbow mobility after this arthroscopic surgery.